Hey everybody, it's Jesse from the Beardy and the Baldy channel bringing you my uh, weekly subscription pull list from the comic shop of new comics this week for Wednesday, May 11th, 2016. <laughs> um, and just want to give a shout out to the comic shop where I work and get my comics, uh, the best comic shop around, uh, Comics Connection. Two awesome locations in Mechanicsburg, Pennsylvania, and York, Pennsylvania. So if you're ever in either of those areas or driving through nearby, stop in, check it out. Um, it's a great store, and I'm not just saying that because I work there. Uh, I work there because I think it's such a great store and was able to get an application, an application at just the right time when some uh, some people were changing. So anyway, been working there for a couple of years. Um, four years now? <laughs> and I love it. Uh, it's a great, great shop. Um family friendly great atmosphere um really helpful staff and i'm not just talking about myself everyone there is great they they all know their stuff and um great people to work with so anyway may 11th new comics first i'm going to do a quick flashback to last week or two weeks ago i'm not sure exactly when this came out uh, someone recommended this to me uh, micronauts number one um it was really fun it was really cool i don't i didn't know anything really about the micronauts going into it uh, but I love the artwork. The artwork is, is great. It's, um, I mean, check this out. Boom. It's pretty impressive stuff. I really enjoy it. It's cool sci-fi, um, spaceships, war, all sorts of cool stuff. So if you like that sort of thing, I definitely recommend Micronauts number one. Uh, okay. And now on to this week's stuff. And as usual, I'm doing in my reverse, um, order so uh already read them and the last one is the one that did the least for me and the last issue i will show is the one i like the most so up uh, first is all new x-men number nine it is the all new x-men which is uh you know the, the uh, teenagers from the 60s that are stuck in the present uh it's their team uh, along with some other characters, uh, you, most of the younger X-Men characters now are featured in this title. Uh, it is their first issue of their story arc for the Apocalypse Wars, focusing on young Evan, a.k.a. Genesis, uh, Kid Apocalypse. Um, it's his birthday, and he's kind of going through some, some stuff, and it ends up teleporting himself and um, Teenage Beast back to ancient Egypt. So it'll be interesting to see where this story goes. Uh, these multiple apocalypse stories are, are getting a little thin for me. Um, <laughs> feels a little too much, but hey, uh, it's still it's still pretty good. Um, so we'll see where that goes. Okay, up next, Batman 52, the final Batman from the New 52 run before Rebirth. Uh, it's a great one-shot. Uh, Capullo and Snyder did not work on this one, but uh, Capullo did do the cover. And I gotta say, I love that cover. Look at that. Look at that. Batman's got a smile on his face. You don't see that very often. I, I, I absolutely love that. Um, it's kind of another great one-shot that uh, explores a little bit more of Bruce and Alfred's relationship, kind of building off some of the stuff they've been doing during the last story arc with um, Alfred not wanting Bruce to become Batman again and all that. So it's, it's, uh, it was pretty cool. Um, really enjoyed the issue. So we'll see what happens next with Rebirth next month. Um, but yeah, it's a great, it's a great punctuation end of the series, uh, that's been, that's been so good for the last, uh, five years or so. Um, so way to go with that book. Um, yeah. A lot of these are really close this week. This is this was a tough week to to put these figure this order out. Uh, next up is Archie number eight from Mark Wade and was it Veronica Fish? I think yeah, Veronica Fish. Um, Archie number eight. These this new Archie series has been absolutely fantastic. Starting off with Mark Wade and Fiona Staples, and uh, Veronica Fish has been a great. Um, artist replacement for Fiona Staples after she got the series kickstarted. So, uh, it's great. It's, it's classic Archie humor, but with a modern take, um, the art sensibilities are a little different than the classic stuff. 
but it's great. It's it's great for all ages. Um, definitely good. F it's it's funny. You know, it's uh, it's a CW show without being a CW show. <laughs> Uh, it's a lot of fun. You get you each each issue's got like three or four little short segments that kind of you know goes back to the classic Archie stories and everything. And and each issue has a classic Archie story um, backup, uh, which is always cool. Um, you usually somehow ties into the issue at hand. So uh, this whole first arc has been, or the second arc has been, following Archie and Veronica's relationship and how Mr. Lodge is not very happy with that. So this is a really cool issue for that and shows some really cool classy move by Archie in this one. All right, second to last is Avengers, excuse me, all new, all different Avengers 9. Not a series I have been keeping up with regularly, um, but I saw that it was the pickup or a continuation of the free comic book day issue I had a story for the new Wasp character. So it's her first official edition in the regular monthly comic of the new Wasp. Um, really great. And again, from Wade and, uh, I'm sorry, the artist, um, it's Mahmoud, Mahmoud Azrar. Oh, I, I apologize if I just butchered your name. I have no idea how to pronounce your name, but I love your artwork. <laughs> Starting with uh, Supergirl a couple years ago in the New 52, um, following you through that, and then to all new X-Men, and now um, what you've done on this. I've loved your your contributions to this so far, and this is a great issue. Um, Avengers are setting up in their new base, an old dilapidated air, air, air base, um, air, air hangar, and uh, Jarvis is cleaning everything up. But anyway, we meet this new character who has connections to classic um, Avengers characters. So first official in-story continuity appearance of the new Wasp character here. Um, really like this character. So it's cool. It's, again, another younger character. Uh, so this seems to be kind of like the team of younger Avengers with Iron Man, uh, Thor, Vision, you know, and Captain America, the Sam Wilson Captain America. So it's been... Um, pretty cool what I've read with this series so far, but this issue was a lot of fun. I really liked it. Um, yeah. So if you want to check out the first appearance of the, the new wasp and see kind of her backstory and everything, it, it's pretty cool. Uh, especially if you know your Avengers history, which fortunately, um, I learned some stuff. I just, I've been reading the, uh, Marvel season one hardcovers that came out a couple years ago. I just read the Ant-Man one last week and having read that it helped actually explain some of this. So, um, that was pretty cool. So, uh, yeah. And last issue for the week is the Ninja Turtles, number 58, uh, following up with the Leatherhead and the, uh, Utram, or Utraminio, I can't remember, the Krang race, <laughs> their story, um, gives you more of the backstory to Leatherface, or Leatherface, Leatherhead in this issue, and sets up you know, where, where the story is going to go next and, uh, you know, the beginning of the next arc and everything. So it was really cool. Really enjoyed that. Really digging this series again. I cannot give this series enough praise. Um, it has been one of the most solid monthly books, uh, over the last five years for me. So, um, special treat today, uh, if you will, uh, if I can get it here, um, going to do a quick unboxing of the the just released Wonder Woman pop rides with the invisible jet. So bear with me as I get this opened up here. I know some people uh, don't like opening their pops, but I do. I like getting them out on display. Um, so I apologize if this gets noisy and I'll try to keep this quick. Let's see. It's got the, um, Packaging has got the little indents there, so it snaps. It's pretty tight in there itself. And let's see, we'll pull. Looks like it comes in a couple of pieces. This is the first pop I've seen that requires any sort of assembly. So we're gonna pull it all out of the packaging here. Okay, so you got the jet with Wonder Woman in it in the package. 
And then you've got the two wings and two pieces to the base plate. And they are packaged in there good. Okay, so you've got the base plate and the stand. Uh, there are no directions in the in the package, but it looks like you just snap that down in there. Or am I going the wrong way? Nope, that's the right way. Okay, base locked in, snapped in good and tight. Um, all right, and the wings they've got little indicators. So you got the right wing and the left wing there. And here's the jet with Wonder Woman. Pretty cool. It looks like this one has been clearly designed off of the um, Linda Carter TV series. This is probably one of the best looking Wonder Woman pops I've seen so far. Um, much better than the, uh, the regular series ones uh, that came out a couple of years ago. Uh, or the new 52 repaint. The only other one that was maybe cool is the, uh, even though I didn't like the movie, the Batman v Superman Wonder Woman pop was pretty cool. Okay, the wings just snap into place there. Um, am I doing this right? <laughs> okay, so you want the curve. The curve goes forward. Or does it? Am I doing this backwards? Nope, yep, it curves forward. Yeah, curves forward here. So this goes towards the front of the ship. Uh, it doesn't really lock, but it, it sits in there nice and tight. There's no lock, so they come out if you need to pack it up again. So that's pretty cool. All right, so there's the jet all together. And then the base just slides in down here. Ta-da, nice and neat. And then Wonder Woman's got, uh, there's the little pegs in there, holes in her feet. And she's good to go. All right. Pretty cool. Uh, looks like it's a nice solid display. So there you go. Wonder Woman pop rides with the invisible jet. Oop, I did not get her securely on her pegs. So anyway. There you go, folks, and that's going to be it for tonight, or today, rather, um, for this week's episode, episode, video, whatever, of the Beardy, <laughs> I kind of forgot who I was, the Beardy doing my comic weekly pull, pull list review rundown. <laughs> All right, go to your comic shop, go out, buy some comics, try some new stuff, Micronauts uh, from a couple weeks ago. Some great stuff this week. Um, all sorts of good stuff. And I hope you enjoyed Free Comic Book Day. Um, I might do some rundown on some of the free ones I got there. Uh, pretty cool. And all that. So yeah, we'll catch you next time. Have a great night.